guys, today's video is gonna be all about my single eyeshadows. I got a video request uh, recently to do a video on this palette right here, which is a palette that holds all my single eyeshadows and also two blushes and a contouring powder. Um, I also have a few uh, pressed single eyeshadows that I didn't deposit into this palette, but I'll also be talking about them. Um, but I will not be talking about any ColourPop uh, Super Shock shadow today. I'll be swatching every shade in here, so um, without further ado, let's get started with the video. I used to buy a lot of single eyeshadows because I feel like in eye, uh, eyeshadow palettes, there will always be some shades that I don't use in them. Um, but recent years, I've been collecting quite a few palettes as well. So I'm kind of like 50-50 when it comes to eyeshadow palettes versus single eyeshadows. Um, but the good thing about single eyeshadows is that you can create a palette full of shades that you will actually use. But yes, it will cost you a lot more money to build your own palette versus just buy a eyeshadow palette on the market. Okay, too much talking. Let's get started with the eyeshadows. Uh, I'll first talk about the eyeshadow that I didn't depot into my palette because I only have three to talk about. Um, the first one is a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow. This is a metallic eyeshadow in the shade Champagne Quartz. can't really remember why I spent this much money on a single eyeshadow, to be honest. I really like this shade for my highlighter because it is a really pretty pinky champagne shade that it has a really pretty sheen to it that it will be perfect for highlighter so I'm using it for highlighter nowadays instead of eyeshadow and then I'm gonna talk about a um, single eyeshadow from H&M this is the only one left in my collection I bought quite a few but I just um, didn't think that those shades are special enough for me to keep them um, this is in the shade Bossy Dudama. This is the only shade that I just couldn't get rid of. It is another really nice champagne-y color. This has more of a tan undertone to it compared to the last shade. It has a really pretty sheen. If you want a really simple eyeshadow look, you can just throw it on your eyelids and with a darker color in your crease and you're good to go. If this is a really pretty like tan champagne-y shade. Yeah, I really love this color. And Another one is a MAC eyeshadow in the shade Naked Lunge. Um, this shade, I haven't been really using it. I, I just... I might actually get rid of it because it has a really pretty pinky undertone, but it is not as pigmented um, as other champagne eyeshadows that I have. I have more pigmented eyeshadow and similar colors that I love more. So yeah, I might not keep it actually, but this is still in my collection. It is. Okay, so moving on to the main thing today, which is the palette. This is um, from Makeup Forever. I believe that they have already changed the outlook of this palette right here which I don't understand why. This palette is really amazing. It is um, tin packaging. Um, you might not like it because you can't really see the eyeshadow in there and it is really easy to dent. Uh, but I don't really mind it because I feel like with a few dent, um, it still looks pretty good. When I bought this one, it was much cheaper than a Z palette, but I just checked um, Sephora and I went and see the palette. They changed the packaging. Um, now you can see the eyeshadow inside, but it is almost like double the price, which I don't understand why. This is already really good and it is much more affordable. I really don't understand why they have to change it and sell it for a lot more money. I think the largest palette is like $30 now. So I don't see the point in getting them, but um, this one was like, when I bought it, I believe it was like $18. So I thought it was really affordable and it is really good and it holds a lot of eyeshadows. So I really love this palette, but unfortunately now you can't really get this edition anymore. I believe that on Etsy or websites like that, you can probably get um, a similar palettes that is much cheaper. So you can try those websites or Amazon. So um, yeah, let's get started with the eyeshadow inside. I will do it roll by roll like this, like vertical. Okay, so this shade right here, 
Okay, it, the first shade in this palette is um, Come and Get It. This is a really famous ColourPop single eyeshadow because it is a really pretty rose gold color. So it is a really pretty shade. It is really creamy and buttery and smooth to the touch. And it is a really pigmented eyeshadow as well. But the thing is, I don't really use this eyeshadow that often because I, I really feel like rose gold is such a pretty color, but I don't really like it on my eyes. So I don't use this eyeshadow that often, but it is a really pretty shade and the quality is uh, phenomenal. Um, the second shade in here is more of an orangey, um, orangey shimmery shade. This is Salt Water. Um, this shade I use quite a lot because I do love me some orange eyeshadows. And this is a golden orange um, color. So this looks really pretty with any kind of orange eyeshadow look. It has like a golden flip to it. It is also like a sheen but not glitter. So and then the third color is um, Eagle from ColourPop as well. Um, this is more of a glittery shade. Um, it has like a pinky taupe um, undertone to it. It is slightly more glittery than the last two shades, but it is still more like a sheen than a full-on glitter. I do really like the shade. Um, and then still, ColourPop. This is uh, Board Shorts. It is a really pretty bronzy color. It is a really warm bronzy shade, which I love. Um, this is my favorite bronzy eyeshadow ever. Um, this is not too dark for it to be like a bronzy smoky eyes, but I think it is a true, like it is a really nice golden bronze color. So, And then moving on to the last one in this row, this is a Makeup Geek eyeshadow. Uh, this is in the shade Pretentious. This is more like a this is a bronzy shade as well. It is slightly more of a greenish um, cool tone bronze than a really warm golden bronze. So this shade is a lot darker uh, with very tiny bit of golden flecks in it. I feel like um, people used to talk about Makeup Geek a lot, but people don't really talk about them anymore. But Makeup Geek eyeshadows are some of the single eyeshadows out there with the really affordable pricing and with amazing quality. Okay, so moving on to the second roll. The second roll is all matte. The um, These shades are more like a contouring shades for me, so um, I will go through them now. Um, the first one right here is actually a eyeshadow from a Mimi Box palette. Which is the first edition, I think, I believe it to be the first eyeshadow palette that Pony uh, collaborated with them. This is a really nice um, matte taupey shade. It is not too cool tone and not too warm. It is perfect for nose contouring, so I already hit pan on this one. Um, I really like this shade, I enjoyed it a lot. And then the second shade is a slightly more um, special shade to me. This is a Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the shade Preppy. Um, this is a greenish matte brown. It has a, like a greenish tint to it. So I think this shade is really unique and it is, again, it is really buttery and really smooth to the touch. It is really pigmented. And then this shade right here, I believe it is, yes, another um, really famous Makeup Geek eyeshadow shade. This is in the shade Creme Brulee. This is one of the most hyped up um, Makeup Geek eyeshadow. It is a really warm mid-tone brown eyeshadow. It is a really perfect crease shade for whatever uh, warm eyeshadow look that you're doing. Uh, this is really, really good eyeshadow and I used it a lot actually. And then the next shade is another color from the Pony and Mimi Box palette. It is a very, very cool tone brown shade. This shade is called Easy Brown. It is another really um, cool tone. It is a really cool tone brown shade, which is pretty special in my collection because I don't really have any cool tone eyeshadows because I don't really do cool tone looks. But I think it is pretty good to have one in your collection whenever you need it, you can reach for it. Moving on to the last shade in this roll, which is the shade that you guys see me use the most in my videos. 
Um, this is a MAC eyeshadow in the shade Wedge. This is my favorite, favorite nose contouring shade. It is like right in the middle, not too ashy and not too warm. I don't really like those really grayish contouring color on my nose. This is like the perfect in between. I love this shade. And then moving on to the third row. Um, the first shade here is... Oh my gosh, this is so dirty. This is a MAC eyeshadow in the shade Bronze. Uh, I used to really like it. I still really like it. It is another really warm toned bronze color. It's like a true bronze. Um, compared to um, board shorts from ColourPop, uh, this bronzy color is not as shimmery. And also, um, it is a lot darker than board shorts. Board shorts has a lot more golden undertone to it. And this is more like a very chocolatey bronze color. The next shade in this roll is another MAC eyeshadow in this shade Twinks. This is a reddish, um, reddish shimmery brown color. But this shade is actually not that pigmented. It takes you some time to build up the color. But it is a really pretty, uh, like, reddish tone bronzy shade. The next shade right here is another really special shade from um, Makeup Geek. It is Homecoming. Um, I don't really have these kind of shades in my collection. It is a really nice, almost purpley kind of taupe, like shimmery taupe color. But to me, it is pretty special because I don't really have any taupey eyeshadow. And this shade is a really pretty, like, yeah, taupey color. I, <laughs> there's nothing much to say about it. It is, again, a really good eyeshadow. And then the next one is a square pan here. This is a Korean eyeshadow from the brand Misha. Um, this is in the shade SBR01. Uh, I kept it because of this is a really pigmented eyeshadow. And it is a really pretty... More like... When you see it in the pan, it looks more like cool tone bronze, but it is actually a very neutral bronze color. Okay, the last one in this roll is a cool tone dark brown color from the Pony and Mimi Box collection again. Um, this is a really cool tone, a very, very, very cool tone dark brown shade, like a grayish black almost. Um, it says easy charcoal, so it is like a charcoal color, but it has a slight brown tint to it. Okay, moving on to this roll right here, which is which are all the really warm tone shades. The first one is one of my favorite single eyeshadows that I have. This is a MAC eyeshadow in the shade Texture. It is a, I believe, a satin. Um, it is a really nice, really warm tone brown with a very tiny sheen in it so it is a really pretty shade even in the crease or all over the lid it looks amazing and then the next shade here is in is an other um really famous makeup geek eyeshadow back in the days this is coco bear it is a very 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 warm tone almost reddish kind of brown uh, if you are doing any warm tone eyeshadow look, um, if you want a darker color in your crease, this is a really and good And then the next shade I believe to be another makeup geek. This is uh, in the shade Bitten. Uh, it is a burgundy um, eyeshadow, which I used to love a lot. I really love reddish eyeshadow. Um, this is a matte shade, a matte burgundy like red wine kind of shade. But um, this has a very so slightly purple undertone to it. Uh, it's like a very slight purpley red. And then the last one in this roll is a ColourPop eyeshadow. is a is a really um, popular shade from ColourPop. This is in the shade Paper Tiger. Uh, this is I would say a true mustard color. There there is no other way to put it. It's just a mustard color. Um, and I think this shade is very very pretty and it, again it is pretty smooth and pigmented okay. okay moving on to this row right here it is all reddish and like pinky undertone okay this first shade right here is a uh, oh by the way this roll the all the pinky and red tones in this roll this all all four of them are from ColourPop the first one is in the shade 
the news. It is a muted pink color. If you're doing a pinky eyeshadow look, uh, this one will be a pretty good um, crease shade. And the next shade is a more vibrant shade. This is in the shade Making Moves. Um, this shade, I would say, is like between a tomato and strawberry. It is like a more orangey toned pink color. It is very, very pigmented. I really love, love, love this vibrant color in summertime. I think this is a perfect summer color. And then I have a neon hot, like more of a neon pink in the shade Pudo. Uh, yeah, this is a very, very true Barbie pink shade. There's no way, no other way to put it, a uh, Barbie pink. And then the last one in this row is Stay Golden. I have no idea why it's named Stay Golden, but it is a darker muted pink color. Again, it is really smooth. It is a very, very pretty shade. It has a slight, very so slightly purple undertone to it. And then moving on to these two shades right here. Um, the, they are MAC eyeshadow. This is a really popular eyeshadow as well. The red one right here is Cranberry. Cranberry is a, just a, as the name suggests, a shimmery cranberry color. Yeah, it is cranberry. And then next shade right here is a navy blue in the shade Contrast. It's a really pretty, like dark, shimmery blue color. It has a very, very slight sheen to it, but it is not too intense. Okay, moving on to those square pants right here. They are from all different kind of brands. These two right here, the bigger ones, are from a Japanese brand called Addiction. I really like this brand. So this first shade right here, uh, I believe it is in the shade 90. They don't have names for the shades, which is one thing that I don't like. I think this is the shade 90. This is, I think, one of the most unique shades from this brand. It is an extremely, extremely glittery shade. It is just a silver diamond-like glitter. It has no base color. It's just pure glitter. I have a little bit on, of this on my lids today. And this is a really good eyeshadow topper if you want a really tr like shimmery, glittery look. And then this shade right here um, is another one from Addiction in the shade 76. Um, it is a very cool tone, um, cool tone brown color with a with glitter inside, but the glitter doesn't really show up on your eyes that much. So it, it is another cool, to very very cool tone brown dark brown color. And then moving on to these four shades right here. These four shades are from Innisfree. So I pick out four shades. The first one here is my favorite. This is in the shade G6, which is glitter finish number six. Um, this reminds me a lot of a NARS eyeshadow. It is a really warm tone, brown, a chocolatey brown color with golden flecks in it. The gold glitter doesn't really show up on your eyes. But um, if you pack it on, it does kind of show through. It is a really amazing warm chocolatey brown color. I absolutely love this shade. And then the one right here is more of a muted lavender color in the shade S20, which is Shimmer 20. Uh, it is a muted lavender shade. I really like it. It is perfect for more of a romantic purple look. If you don't want it to be like a bold purple, it is a really nice shade to have. And then this shade right here, um, this shade right here, it doesn't look that purple in, uh, in the pan, but it is actually more of a purplish glitter. This is glitter number eight. It is not that pigmented, not my favorite eyeshadow, so I don't want to talk too much about it. It's like a grayish purple glitter. And then this one right here is another color that I really like from Innisfree. Uh, I believe it to be Shimmer 26, a more vibrant, violet kind of color. It is a really, really pretty shade. Okay, and then we have this last eyeshadow in this palette, which is this one right here. This is a really pretty and very unique shade to me. This is from a Korean brand called Cleo. And this is in the shade G03, which is glitter number three in the shade Pen Light. Uh, this is a dual chrome pink glitter. 
yeah, this is a dual chrome eyeshadow. It is a really pretty uh, in the corners highlight. I love this shade so much. Another really nice glitter shade. Too. Okay, moving on to the last three in my collection here, which are not eyeshadows. They are face powders. Um, the first one here is two. These two are from MAC, and the contouring powder is from uh, Makeup Geek. The first blush right here is called Burnt Pepper. Like as the name suggests, more like a burnt pepper shade. And it is a perfect fall and winter blush. Um, this is like a muted red color. It is a really pretty and nice blush shade, but it is a little bit more dry. The powder is slightly more dry and hard. It takes a little bit of skills to work with it, but it is a really pretty color. And then this is a really famous blush from um, MAC. This is Frankly Scarlet. Um, they have a shade called uh, something apple, red apple or apple red. They are very, very similar, but this one has a very so slightly more pinkish undertone to it. And then the last one, well, finally the last product that we have to talk about. Okay, this is um, Makeup Geek Contour Powder in the shade Breakup, which is Cool Porcelain. This is a very, very grayish um, contour color. It is really good for nose contouring, but I don't really reach for, for this shade because it is a little too pigmented. It is a really smooth powder. Um, if you love this grayish um, undertone, this is a really decent powder. But you have to have a really light hand or else if you are a beginner to makeup, this can become a disaster. <laughs> But it is a really, really nice shade. I, I do like well, it. Finally, I it's the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And all the products that I mentioned and all my social media will be linked down below. So you can check out the description box. Um, feel free to leave me any video requests. So I'll make sure that I will try to do them. So yeah, that's the end. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. and. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for any future videos and um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Oh my gosh, my mom is gonna kill me. <laughs> I got my bed all dirty. <gasps>